President Reagan is recovering well after the attempt on his life last night. He's been well enough to sign a congressional bill sent to him, but most of his duties were today carried out by his vice president, Mr. Bush. It's thought the president will be in hospital for about two weeks. His press secretary, Jim Brady, is said to be improving and is now expected to survive. The two wounded security men are also recovering. In Poland, leaders of the independent trade union Solidarity have voted formally to call off its plans for a general strike. The stoppage had been due to go ahead earlier today, but the union had suspended the action after talks between Solidarity leader Lech Wałęsa and government officials. The leader in Britain of the Unification Church, otherwise known as the Moonies, has lost his long and costly libel action against the Daily Mail. Mr. Dennis Orme was challenging allegations in the Mail about brainwashing and the breakup of families. His total bill arising from the case is expected to be around half a million pounds. The Bank of England has forecast that the recession may get even deeper this year. In a report out tonight, it says industrial investment will continue to fail and unemployment and lower pay rises will cut consumer spending and so reduce further the demands for the products of industry. The government has accepted a move to make seat belts compulsory for children aged between 1 and 13 years who travel in the front seats of cars. Children under the age of one year will not be able to ride on the front seat at all. The penalty for people breaking the rule could be a fine of up to £50. And that's all from me tonight. Good night.